Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to see object oriented programming and building blocks of object oriented programming. So what is object oriented programming? It is a programming paradigm that relies on the concept called classes and object. So in the previous video we already saw what is a paradigm and what is programming paradigm and its type and any programming language that relies on the concept classes and object we call that programming language object oriented programming language. Now let's see the building blocks of object oriented programming. So we have four building blocks first class second object third attribute and fourth is method. So in this video we are going to see only class and object and in the next video we are going to see attribute and method. Now let's take object our first building block. So at first we are going to see what is object. An object is a specific instance of a class. It contains real values instead of variables. So it means that object represents real values not just any variable. So any entity with some state and behavior is referred to as an object. So any entity when we call that as an object it should have a state and behavior. And memory space is allocated when it is created and it is created as many times as you require. So that is all about object. Now let's talk about second building block that is class. So class is a structure where we define variables and methods which are utilized by our object. Class defines what data objects will contain and how they will behave. The definition of class is created only once. Memory space is not allocated when it is created. So at the end we can say it is a collection of objects. Now let's see class and object with one example. Now think of class as a sketch of a house and house contains all the details about flow, door, windows and based on our this description we build our house. So here house is the object and the sketch is a class. Now let's see the syntax of class. So to create a class we need a class name and then inside the class we can have your attribute and we can define our functions or methods. So this is the basic structure of a class and using this object we can access the attribute and functions associated with this class. Now let's summarize our understanding about class and object. A class or object is a way of combining all sorts of data that related to one single thing in one place and a way of associating function with that data. Now let's see the coding part related to class and object. So this is the syntax. We have a class keyword then followed by we have to define our class name then colon and then we need to create the definition of this class. Now this class only contains one attribute that is var and this is how we can create the object of our class. So any object name equal to our class name and parenthesis. And as we already saw in the definition using object we can access the elements of a class which are attribute and methods. So right now we are accessing our attribute and you can see at the end when we run this block you can see the 10 is printed and using this inbuilt function has attribute you can check whether this particular object has a attribute called var and you can see the result is true so in this simple example you can see the syntax of class how we can create object and how we can access the attribute and how to check whether your class has the attribute so in this next example we are going to see class with attribute and method here in it is a default constructor of a class which is used to initialize all the element of class and here you can see we are initializing our class with a name and age then we created this function called my function and in that we are using one attribute and you can see here we created an object and we pass two values john and 36 so whenever our class is initiate this particular constructor is called and all these values are assigned to these variables. In the next video we are going to see this init in detail but now let's focus on attribute and method. So as we saw in the previous example objects can use to access the element of a class. So in the previous example we saw how we can access the attribute 
And now we can see how we can use object to access the methods of a class. Just use the object name dot the method name. And in similar fashion, you can check whether this particular function or method is belong to that particular object. And you can see when I run this code, hello, my name is John. So you can see here this function is executed with initialized value and you can see the result of has attribute is true. So this is how we create methods inside our class and access those methods using our object. And we use this init to initialize our initial values. So using these two examples, you get clear idea on how to create attribute and how we can create methods inside class and how to access it. And that's it for the today's video. Thank you everyone.